Hiya, my name is Linda Rose and welcome to my vlogs. It's one... V uh, okay, so I filmed this whole thing yesterday um, and then it was a great video, it was fantastic and then I watched it back and I had something on my face through the whole thing so I was like, ah, that's not happening. This is not that something, that's just a little zit friend. Um, also, I don't know if you can hear like construction work being done, so I've got some piano music going to <laughs> try and mask that. Anyway, now that all of that's done, uh, I thought as an introduction to my brain, I would do an interesting Q&A because I found some really cool questions on the wonderful interwebs. And I thought I'd answer some of them so that you could maybe get to know me a little, unless you already know me because the majority of the people watching this are probably my friends and family, like, hi. <laughs> um, yeah. So if I keep looking down, I've got the questions in a little notebook thingamajig, obviously. I don't think I needed to explain that, but here we are. Um, so let's just jump right in, shall we? So the first question is what is my favorite word and my answer for this is quite complex because I speak three three languages so I I have favorite words in each of them I think so my favorite English word is very definitely the word ooze because when you say it it sort of oozes out of your mouth the word does what it says and it just I love that like, say ooze. It literally, it oozes. <laughs> That's a weird favorite word, but anyway. My favorite Afrikaans word is Bupensbruikis, or just Bupensbruiki, which is a jaffle, which I just, I love it. It's great. Bupensbruiki. Um, and then my favorite German word. Let's think. I actually don't think I have a favorite, favorite German word because German has so many great words that just describe things that English and even Afrikaans can't. You know, like for example, what's a great German word? Kummerspeck. We like it's basically like weight you gain from eating because you're stressed or nervous, like worried about something so it's emotional eating fat <laughs> like what um and then heimweh is also such a great word it means homesickness and it just it feels like homesickness when you say i i think the thing is i like how you say words if they're nice to say then they might get on the list of favorite words that i like a little bit too much way too much but okay um, so moving on from that very, very interesting spiral of thought. Um, what was my favorite age or is my favorite age? I am currently 21. Whoop whoop. Um, and <laughs> okay, so socially awkward is not even funny. Um, but I would definitely have to say that my favorite age was 17. Mostly because in my head, I still am 17. Like, I know that I've grown up and matured and I'm very much a different person to who I was when I was 17, but the person I am now is the person I wanted to be when I was 17. So, I don't know if that makes sense, but definitely in my head, I'm 100% still 17 years old and I don't think that's ever gonna change. So that would be why it's my favorite age. What is a unique fear that I have? <laughs> now I've got lots of unique fears, but I'm gonna focus on one of them, which is that I am deathly afraid of ostriches. As in petrified, scared of ostriches. Because, and I have a very valid reason for this. It's not just like, oh, ostrich. Ah. When I was younger, uh, I was my grandparents had a farm and the neighbors had ostriches and um, my cousin and I were walking down 
a path next to the like gate that separates the two farms. And one of the ostriches decided it would be a great idea to just chase these two little girls down the path, you know? Um, because the gates aren't very high, it's like, like waist height gates. So this freaking bird could very easily, I don't know, I was young, I didn't know anything about anything. I swore. So in my head it was like, you could just jump this fence and I would be dead. So we ran and since that day I am so scared of ostriches. <laughs> so scared. Like, oh no, I'm terrified. Mm. Anyway, um, if I was given a plane ticket right now to anywhere in the world, where would I go? So right now, at this very, very moment, if you had to give me a plane ticket and be like, go, I would say Greece because I love the idea of going to Greece, but I like the idea of going there like in the summer, but also not in the summer, like sort of like half, still warm, but not you're gonna burn your skin off warm because I am pale AF and I burn in the shade. So I need like SPF 50 every five minutes kind of a thing. Um, excuse me. I'm just gonna have some tea. Mm. I'm drinking passion fruit and pineapple tea, by the way, in case you were, you were wondering. Um, yeah, Greece. Definitely Greece. But then I would also really like to go to Egypt and India one day when I'm big. But definitely also in the winter because that's... Whew. Um, if I could, w which horrible experience of my past would I erase? And my answer to that is very simply none of them. Because if, if I didn't go through the things that I've gone through, I would not be the person I am today. And... I am very recently learning to absolutely love the person that I am. Without any hesitation, I would not erase anything that has happened to me. Because without it, I wouldn't be me. Um, do I prefer sunrises or sunsets? 100% sunsets. I am such a sucker for a sunset. Firstly, because they are gorgeous gloriously beautiful like nowhere in the world does pink and orange go together except for in the sky ever just don't do it but put it put it in the heavens and it's fine um and then they show that there's such beauty in endings like it just ends can be glorious and sunsets prove that um do i believe in horoscopes yes and no <laughs> Because, yes, because I, I kind of do believe that um, they can affect your personality traits and things like that. Sorry. Because I am a Cancer, or a Cancerian, or whatever, and I feel that sometimes I am textbook <laughs> Cancerian traits because, like, emotional and mood swings and obsessed with the moon absolutely obsessed um but then also i don't believe that you can like look at the stars and tell me how my day is gonna go i don't believe in that but then having said that the reason i'm doing this is because i read my horoscope for september and it said that like the creative ventures i take on will be successful so I was like, if this is not a kick from the universe saying, get your life in order and do the thing you want to do, then I don't know what is. So here we are. Um, <laughs> the next question is, do I prefer dinosaurs or dragons? And I'm going to have to say dragons. I love dinosaurs. I really, really do love dinosaurs. And I've got a little sister who is obsessed with dinosaurs to the point where she wants to become a paleontologist but it's just dragons man dragons could you imagine having a pet dragon like it, just flying around and breathing fire and being absolutely ridiculously cool hell yes dragons dragons um what is my hogwarts house so i am very proudly ravenclaw 
very proudly Ravenclaw to the point where my glasses accidentally have the house colours in them like the book house colours obviously but Ravenclaw <laughs> oh and then the last question is who is a person that I admire and so for the purposes of this video I have chosen three people that I truly truly admire and the first is obviously JK Rowling the Queen herself um, <laughs> because I would like to be a published author one day and if I could have the impact on the world that she's had through Harry Potter I would be so happy because she shaped an entire generation of people to be these open-minded and just generally great people who were fantastic um, because we don't take crap from anybody and we're very open and accepting you know if I can do that if I can have that impact on the world that would be that's my life goal I think um, and then secondly is Carrie Hope Fletcher who is also here on the YouTube um, <laughs> And she's also an author and an actress and I, I keep telling people that that woman stole my life because I would love to do all of the things that she's done I would love to be the type of person she is she's also so body positive and just makes people generally feel really good about themselves and about being creative and if I'm feeling really down or in need of inspiration I watch a carry video because it just it, always cheers me up and makes me feel like I can I can conquer the world basically and then last but not least is Louise Pentland who is also a youtuber and author and mother and um, <laughs> the similarities between myself and Louise are a little bit crazy I'm not gonna go into too much on that because that just feels kind of stalkerish and weird and creepy but <laughs> She's me in 10 years, basically. Me in 10 years. And I also really admire her and the way she is and the person that she is and her bravery and the fact that she speaks about things that people don't normally speak about. And that sort of inspires me to speak about my things and the things that affect me where people wouldn't normally speak about those things. So that's what I'm gonna do on here. Um, yeah, so that was all of my questions. Thank you very much for watching this. Thank you for your time and your patience. And if you would like, you could give me a little thumbs up and subscribe if you want more of this crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, because in the future, going forward, I would really like to be making videos about body positivity and mental health and maybe even some like funny skits and things. We'll see where this wild adventure goes, this terrifying adventure. But I have this, this belief that if something doesn't scare you and excite you at exactly the same time, you shouldn't be doing it. And this does exactly that for me. So, here we go. Here we go. But anyway, thank you. And enjoy the rest of your day.